Hello everybody, welcome to the session. The objective of this session is to see how to change uh, the status of an IDOC. Now, what could be the scenarios wherein you might change the status of an IDOC? And usually in real time, what happens, there would be a lot of background jobs that would be running. And all these background jobs, uh, definitely they have to deal with IDOCs because the data transfer to SAP, if it has to be done, it has to be done through an interface which would be dealing via IDOCs. Now the data transfer, if in case it's happening via IDOC, so IDOCs, you know, um, they would be when it is controlled by the background jobs, it is very imperative that there would be a lot of data inconsistencies at times. Uh, there would be not appropriate data. There would be uh, uh, an error with the uh, interface or an, an error with the application or B2BI or the CFDs, whatever you're using in between. Uh, but what happens if in case it's an issue with the data inconsistency, the there are two possibilities either you change the data in the IDOC and then reprocess it which idly is in compliance issue you do not do it so what is the next alternative so you do the changes manually and what you do is you set those IDOCs for no further processing now when I say no further processing that means you are idly changing the status of the IDOCs there could be two possibilities either you exclude the IDOCs right away from processing in that background job or you can change the status now let's look at a couple of the uh let's try to find out one idoc okay here we have a couple of idocs now here you can see that if in case i have a 51 status so let's assume that you know this one is having a data in inconsistency and i would like to change it so what are the statuses that we have you can here see that there's something like 68 status which means error no further processing so ideally any idoc which is having a data consistency issue or data error or data is not appropriate then in that case usually you can set it to 68 for that what you need to do is and there's a program in ehs which could be used the program name is stroke as a 38 rc1 underscore idoc underscore sets underscore status this is a program name so if you execute it it would ask you the idoc number now here you can see this is 51 status so 68 is like it would be not be further processed anymore so for this you have to have you need to have the IDOC number and then you have to have the current status and then the expected status you can see here it says one IDOCs were converted now the IDOC is converted so the moment I refresh, the expectation is that this 51 should be 68. You can see here this 51 is now 68 and this one is green. That means it will not be further processed by any of the background jobs or any other any other background program. So this is how you would be excluding any IDOC um, by changing the status. This is one of the options. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day.